Uh, as many of you probably already know, the regional summits like this are a key part of the Mental Health Commission of Canada. And we're really pleased to be part of this two-day provincial conference. Uh, and as a proud Newfoundlander, it warms my heart to see that Newfoundland is uh, taking a leadership role in this. And I'm delighted to, that uh, this is the only summit that I know of that the Premier actually came uh, and uh, welcomed everybody. I also want to thank Jane Henderson and everyone at Choices for Youth uh, for their work in making the summit happen, and of course Patrick Hickey, although I'm not going to thank him for talking me into having the chocolate croissant bread pudding this afternoon, uh, but it was really good. Uh, Patrick's actions are an example of exactly the kind of momentum uh, that we hoped would spark our opening at Headstrong Summit in Ottawa. And now here you are today. So uh, it's really something for you and him to, to be proud of. I know that when you put uh, you know, youth matters, uh, and I love the term from a whisper uh, to a scream, uh, that's magical. I travel a lot across the country and somewhat internationally as well. And um, when I'm on a plane, I get to talking to the person who's sitting next to me. And um, as soon as I tell them what I do, uh, every single time there's a story. And usually it's whispered first because you wouldn't want anybody around you to hear it. Uh, and every time it's a story about themselves, about a family member, a loved one or a work colleague, and uh, I have yet to find somebody who isn't impacted by mental health. Yes, one in five, so do the math here this evening. I think that's a pretty underestimated number myself. I'm sure it's more like one in three or one in four, but it doesn't matter. I think the fact is, is that all of us are impacted by a mental health problem in some way or other. And when a conversation starts, it leads to stories, and sharing stories are so powerful. Uh, when Justin shared his story this evening, uh, that was important, and I think it's, uh, it's not a matter of just giving facts and figures, and I think it's important to talk about it. Um, Yes, there are anxieties, there are difficulties with, uh, with growing up, and uh, most people are blessed, and I think it is a blessing, to come from a family that is supportive and so forth. So I just want to tell you that growing up here in St. John's wasn't uh, very easy for me. In fact, uh, it, was, uh, it was fairly unpleasant. Uh, by the time I was uh, 13 years old, I had lived in as many foster homes. And uh, at the time, uh, being really old now, uh, the foster system wasn't, uh, wasn't very good. And I ended up being hospitalized and treated by a psychiatrist for three weeks. Uh, since that time, um, I have worked hard to, there were a lot of nurses that really helped me, and that's my background, I'm a nurse, and uh, I now have the privilege of working in this role with the Mental Health Commission of Canada, and nothing gives me greater pleasure when someone comes and tells me a story that tells uh, how our work has impacted them, and I have made it a, a, a commitment uh, for, uh, for myself to try to help others that are going through similar difficulties. So it is possible to overcome it, but it's really important to tell your stories uh, to others. Um, right now, I'd like to share with you a little bit about the summit that occurred in Ottawa, uh, that uh, Patrick, and I know Olivia, wherever she is, was present there uh, as well. And we have a, a video that I want to show you about that. So magically, it's going to appear. So at the Commission, we've created Headstrong for you uh, to help you join in the battle to address stigma. Most adults tell us that their first symptoms of mental illness occurred when they were your age. 
The sad truth is that many will not get the help that they need. Even when diagnosed with a mental health problem, only one in six gets treated. And here's another alarming statistic. 40% of parents have told us that they wouldn't tell anybody if their child had a mental health problem. Not a grandmother, not an aunt or an uncle, not even a doctor would they tell. So I think we can say that stigma is alive and well. Um, as you will hear uh, throughout the next day or so, and Bob Heaney is here, uh, you saw him in the video, who was one of the key uh, investigators in developing the curriculum around uh, Headstrong. Uh, and as we said, one in five are facing significant mental health problems, and most of them aren't getting the help that they need. Most say it's because of the uh, stigma that's associated with it. Over the next few months, Headstrong in Newfoundland and Labrador is going to be in your schools. And it will be much stronger with all of your involvement. And so I'm really delighted that uh, you are here talking about this because you'll bring such a wealth of knowledge uh, when that comes to you. I believe we're building a solid foundation, uh, but I want you to have the tools, the training, and the mentorship that you need not to just succeed us, but to exceed the work that we have already done. I hope that in 10 years' time, when there's another summit, you'll be all saying, remember when we used to talk about mental health in this way? And that will, it will be a surprise. And that you'll all be able to talk openly and honestly about your problems, because that's really the only way that you're going to get help. And uh, so I wish you well in your deliberations over the next day or so. Um, please, please talk openly. Everybody has a story to tell. Don't forget that. Thank you so much.